Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. And we're a bit behind doing this, as I always seem to be late putting anything out, so <laughs> I guess you should be um, used to that by now. So we are doing the summer event, the Moonfire Festival. Fire Red, Beast Green. And we get it with Choi Choi. Do my eyes to see me? Or do I spy a familiar face who looks like she could do some proper summer recreation? That's right. The sun's rays are out in full force, and so is our beloved Moonfire Affair. These days, the event doubles as a free promotion for the Adventurous Guild, you know. The brave and the bold show off their heroics, and afterwards, the fair guests flock to the Guild in droves to hire them. But the real star of the show is the acclaimed Aeotian Nimble Warrior course, bringing in hundreds upon hundreds of new challengers. At any rate, we could really use some more help out there, so if by chance I've piqued your interest, I suggest you ship out to Costa del Sol and speak to our chief chaperone, Herr Manga. Lyloth, now there's a sight for sore eyes. Did Mayor Mayu send you out here to lend a hand? <laughs> this year, the event is shaping out to be a thrill for visitors and staff alike. Allow me to give you a brief outline of what we have planned. In case the screaming and splashing hadn't given it away, we brought back the Yotzian Nimble Warrior course with all its explosive challenges intact. And this summer sun gets to be too much. Grant yourself a refreshing reprieve by enjoying an icy treat or playing with the polar bears. Oh nice, these are back. So when I first played, when I first started playing Final Fantasy XIV, this event was the first event I did. And we had the polar bears. And I think our reward was an icy treat. So that's cool, that's like... Um, it's a super throwback for me to, to when I first started playing Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> Even better, this year we've added a little Far Eastern flair with these hand fans. They're called Uchiwa, and they drive away evil spirits, or so I'm told. To ensure their authenticity, we hired an expert and the art of the festival to craft us a hundred crates of them. And what colour should be more fitting for the moon fire than bright blazing red? Seeing as the origins of the event can be traced back to the bombard hunts of years past, I say Uchua are a perfect fit for the spirit of the occasion. And judging from the sizable crowds, I'm far from the only one. The downside, of course, is that we presently find ourselves quite ill-equipped to a manager turnout of this magnitude. Personally, I'd like to boister, uh, yeah, bo bolster, I guess, our security guard ray, if I can. As it stands, none of us would be able to leave our post in the event of serious emergency. So, given the fortuitous timing of your arrival, could I ask you to, uh... M monster Ah! Did... Did she say monster? Damn it all! The people are starting to panic! Please, light off. You've got to help us. If I stay here and try to keep the crowd calm, you head north and find that woman. Okay, let's find the screaming woman.
the the most vicious hair, I swear it. It was leering at me from behind a rock, making these off kilter little motions. And they ran off to the east. I thought for certain you'd come over here and Oh I, I feel faint. I need to go lie down. So back this way. We got the fireworks going off. I love the moon fire there. Damn. I didn't stand a chance against that thing. You should have seen it. I was minding my own business out here, practicing my steps, when suddenly that thing showed up from out of nowhere to challenge me to a dance off. Then, after it utterly trounced me, I raced off again. Would that I could tell you where, or even which direction. Although, come to think of it, I believe I saw something fall off its body. Well, it doesn't much matter to me anymore. I can hear Summer's core. And it must be heated to the ocean with me. Whatever fell off that thing, you'll find it lying over there. If you think it will help, you'll search. She is. Glad as ever to see you again, Lightoff. Herr Manga told us you might be in need of urgent assistance. So here we are. We've heard reports of a green monster running amok. Have you learned aught in the way of a clue? Dropped something, did it? Looks to be a needle, by my reckoning. Oh, looks to be a needle, by my reckoning. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, cactua. It's obvious we did over cactua. Cactuas in North Norcia, of all places. Surely they would struggle to survive so far removed from their native habitat of Fanalan. I, I am so, so sorry about this. What's going on there? The big explosion. M Madam Memager, if I'm not mistaken, was it not Master Gigaruju himself who invited you out to Costa del Sol? Yes. I travelled all the way from Oldar and to summon to my friend Gekaruju. Naturally, I couldn't bear the thought of my dear pets missing out on all the fun and festivities, so I brought them along with me. Not for a moment did I ever think they would act like this. You have my deepest apologies. They were perfect angels when we stopped to see Gekaruju and even gave them treats. But the moment I stepped away for a drink, they went mad, and poor Gigaruju couldn't rein them in. By the time I got back, they were gone. I swear to you, this has never happened before. <laughs> well, that would certainly explain how Cactua ended up in Lanosia. Regardless, if your pets pose a danger to the fair goers, we may have to subdue them before I force. No, oh, please. I've I've raised them since they were pups. They never heard a fly. <laughs> I don't fancy the prospect myself, but whatever option is there, given that the moonfire there would have no venue were it not for Master Gigaruchu, I'd obviously prefer if we didn't upset a dear friend of his. Yes, termination would be a last resort. Let us first attempt to capture them. I 
sensible plan. Should things turn violent, it would only frighten the attendees. This calls for a more subtle approach. Just the three of us, perhaps. Indeed, I see the situation sorted swiftly that we might return to the fair. If we work quickly, we might manage to find them before it escapes the bounds of the Costa del Sol. Thus, I propose we split up. Lighteth, my friend, we will search this, this side of the island. The west side of the island, actually. So for you to find a cactua. The cost of the soul, oh well, my I guess. It would be a lot more humid than final and so maybe the humidity will kill them. But it should be hot enough for them. Ah, here it is. A cavorting cactuar. Really has gone mad, hasn't it? Did you find something? It appears she did. But how are we going to capture it? I've never seen a cactus look so dangerous. Is it just me, or is it radiating an aura of pure malice? I've never seen a poor thing like this, either. Come to think of it, Gegaruju told me it seemed to him as though they were possessed. In that case, perhaps the aura is an evil spirit? If only we could purify it somehow. Perhaps a new chore would help. Of course! In the Far East, they use Uchua to ward off evil spirits, right? Maybe our festival fans would work. In that case, allow me to do the honors. Evil spirits be gone! Uchu Shoi! Oh, it worked! Yes! Well, that was easy. Shall we head back for drinks? Well, that's quick. Shall we make sure it's fine first? Um, terribly sorry to interject, but I think there's been a misunderstanding. That's only one of my dear cactus. I'm still missing the other six. I do appreciate you finding Cacti, of course, but I'm worried about Cactillo, and Cactina, and Cactis... Tis... Cactistro... Cactistro... Cactus to far? Uh, whatever. Uh, and, wait, so when you said pets, you brought seven cactuars to Les Norcia? It is concerning, then, that we scoured every inch of the island and only found one, because we will have to take our search to the mainland. Wait, how did it cross the water? Very well, let us take up our Uchua and find these cactuars. Now we might ease them of their torment.
You have learned the emote Uchuashoi. Have I? I have. Uh Okay, what what's it under then? Big fan. That makes it easier. <laughs> Thanks for thinking of us. Um, okay. I shall pray. Oh, well, that's a long time, actually. That's cool. I don't know when I'd ever use it, though, right? Maybe to cool somebody down? Oh, oh, yeah, where are we heading? Oh, do, oh okay. Need to talk to them. Festival Fan Frenzy. I take it you're ready to begin? In that case, let us review our objective. First, we must seek out these cactuars. As soon as one is located, placate it with a gust from your Uchua. They bring it back here. You, my friend, are in charge of searching the southwestern cliffside. Here it is. The cactus appears to have snapped out of whatever it may have been. Eager for your company. It walks right up to you, allowing you to grab it. Is that safe to grab? Do they have to like... So are they like soft normally and then they can choose to put out their spines? Is that why we don't see the spines on the actual model? Because they're usually like inside? Up there. Um, I love look how beautiful the water is. Hmm, definitely seems like it's down. Mm, not seeing it. above okay I guess we're getting wet oh this is where it's up on that platform isn't it I didn't realize it went all the way over this way oh no it is down here okay good The cactus appears to have snapped out of it, whatever it may have been. Eager for your company, it walks right up to you, allowing you to grab it. Okay, we've got both cactuars. Let's head back.
Welcome back. I just suppose you found any cactuars. Oh, yeah, why are you asking me like that? Have you not found any? What have you lot been doing? Ah, that brings us to seven. Excellent, we're done. And now that's over with, I think I'll grab myself a drink and find a nice vantage point. Preferably somewhere in the shade. Oh, take me with you. I've been dying for a drink. Cute. Alas, the crisis is well and truly averted. Now I can return to my focus to what matters most. Ensuring a spectacular time is had by all. Seeing as Herr Manga still needs a status report, can I ask you to see to that? Yep, okay. That's our next part then. Let's go do that. Welcome back, Lilith. It seems you had the Cactua Crisis well in hand. You've done your part to keep the peace, and for that, I thank you. Now, what says I hear about a malicious aura? Efficacy of the Ochoa side? I'd rather like to get to the bottom of this, lest we suffer the same problem next year. I just wanted to report that the pet cactuars are resting safely away from the main festivities. I asked another chaperone to keep an eye on them. I, I cannot apologize enough for the trouble I caused. Yes, well, I was glad to have this matter settled quit quietly. My lovely ladies were quite frightened. That being said, speaking as one who has seen his share of dancers, your pets have star potential, my dear Mimisha. Truly, perhaps I should have them formally trained. You're not seriously going to encourage that behavior, are you? Unless you forget, it is pure coincidence that we found a peaceful solution for the use of our Uchua. With something like this to happen again, the luck may not hold. Surely you don't mean... I, I've learned my lesson! I swear it! As soon as we're home, I'm sure they're trained to stay at my side at all times. That's all I ask. Incidentally, did you notice anything that might have served as the catalyst for this cavorting? Ah, uh, the treats? Kikarud you gave them, I guess? No, I'm afraid not. I was away at the time, you see. I thought it quite straight myself. One moment they were drowning uh, they're drowning their wine like sailors, and the next it was as though they were possessed by some manner of wicked spirit. You got them drunk, Kikarud you They they were Drinking wine, my lord? And what a vine vintage it was! Oh, Gegaruchu, now on to you. Look at the trouble you've caused. And what a fine vintage it was! It was a delightful to be like minded. Uh, yeah? I was delighted to be in like minded company. Oh, the great conversations we could have had. If only they could speak. Memoja, I can't believe I'm asking this, but is wine safe for Gactuars? How should I know? I've only ever given them the finest spring water from the mountains of Corfus myself. It seems we have our culprit. Pa. They barely had a cup for each. And besides, it's not like I poured it, poured the stuff down their throats, did I? Oh, 
All right. Look, perhaps sharing a bottle wasn't the best idea. Uh, how was I to know they couldn't hold their drink? Personally, I'm just glad the mystery's been put to rest. And seeing as Mama Jars learned her lesson, I dare say we won't be seeing a repeat of this incident. <laughs> well, just in case someone else gives wine to some other cactuars, I'll be sure to let the chaperone team know to reach for an Uchua rather than a weapon. That would be much appreciated. Well, Pobriano. Now let us return to the festival and the Adventurous Guild won't promote itself, you know. As for you, Lyloth, on behalf of the entire chaperone team, I thank you. Enjoy the remainder of the event. Don't be a stranger, all right? I think Makote's names are probably the, well, the hardest to pronounce. Summer's biggest fan. Oh, Gekaruju, you are a menace. Um, shall I attempt this? Did not do very well. I didn't. I got around the air last time. That looks like an absolute menace. Oh. Oh dear. Another swim of shame. See, I didn't do very well last time. I do find the whole... trying to... It's not really time. Does it say time the jumps? But it's not timing. It's like because you got to put like a certain amount of speed into them. And it seems to be based on the amount of time you hold a button. Which I guess there might be issues with like latency and things. And then you go this way, or you can go up that way. If I remember correctly, if you... Oh. It's so easy to, like, overshoot them. I, I, I find side jumping a bit easier for these style of platforms. Oh, and then that's where it starts. It starts down there. So you have to do this awful jump. Which I think you have to use the old sprint to do. At least I do. And I guess you could jump from here. And then you'll make your way up. See, uh, you can just hit that wall. Super, super frustrating. And I've got some patience. Like, I can be a pretty patient person a lot of the time. Hmm, why I say that? <laughs> I 
Like, I'm more patient with, like, real-world events. Anything that involves, like, computers, games, or anything like that. I have a very short fuse. So, um, for some reason. Not really sure what causes it. It's probably why the reason that I don't play a lot of things on like harder difficulties because I guess I expect entertainment to be entertaining rather than frustrating. So now we're here. I know everyone else is like, or it's like move, moving like chess pieces. It looks like. So, if I do this tiny jump here, oh, I've a calculator. <laughs> That's what it looks like. It I'm taking so long to do it. Oh no, did they fall? Oh no. And they got all the way up there. So painful. It's like, oh, yeah, 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 I, um, what's the word? This, like my hand side sweat immediately. I got there, I all know, if, if I fall, this, I gotta do all this again. Needs to come to like nervous panic, then. I, I think they're a little bit mean. I think they are. It would be nicer if they gave more, um, like safety nets, so you can retry a certain area rather than go back all the way to here. I, mean, I guess it's given me the practice, I suppose, to do this. Can you just like... Oh, you can. I didn't have to use sprint then. Now my, like... I, I start to feel like a, a chill, cold sweat over me. As I tried to do that. Oh my god! I did it again! On the same thing. I feel like this is so much harder than Kugani Tower. Close one. But also, don't really. Well, there's no chance of that. Like, I, I, I can't really spend months trying to do Kagani um, to do this. Did I spend months doing Kagani? I don't think I did. But I did waste a lot of time <laughs> messing around with Kagani. Why? Why do I have to scrub that, that part? And then they go, go all the way back up again. Like, I need practice on that part, but they're like, oh, do this one. Do this one a million times instead.
Well, at least I have to use Sprint now. Oh, fuck's sake, I overshot it. I overfucking shot it. Need to be a bit more um, gentle on that jump. Whereas I'm getting... I'm getting frustrated as I'm becoming, I guess, less patient. Even though I said, oh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a patient person. <laughs> uh, no. So I'm trying to rush through that now. Fuck off. Fuck off. I got pressing die, uh, to jump sideways and they're just jumping up. That's the problem. Like, why am I jumping so fast there? I'm not holding the button. I don't know if it's a latency problem. But then maybe you should put these kind of things in the fucking game. If it's going to be so fucked by um, latency. And I, like, my... Mine is good. It shouldn't be shit like this. It's raining. Luckily, I don't think the game has physics like this, so it's not going to make the things more slippery. I mean, that'd be bloody hell if it did. There we go. Fuck. I can't fucking see. There's a fucking thing there? Great, so you hit that. Whack that on my fucking head. Okay, where do I go? Am I supposed to go that way? What's this way? I guess that's the way? So we want to do a kind of like small shorts. My fucking hands are sweating. Gah! <sighs> It's because I know the punishment. If I, screw, if I screw this up, I've got massive punishment. So can you do this for us? I don't think you can. How the fuck do you make this jump? There's a fucking bomb on it too? Are you shitting me? How fucking mean? How fucking mean? Okay, you show me what to, what to do. Uh, get up here and show me what to do, please. Oh, you do that without it's pressing sprint. Oh fuck me! Oh fuck me! Oh fuck! Ah! Oh yeah! Yeah! We got that! We got that! Ah! No! We fucking didn't fucking wind it up enough! Ah! Fuck! Where's that emote? Where, where's the where's the fucking emote where you fall to your knees, clutching your fucking head, and screaming, <laughs> screaming into the fucking sky? That's the emote we need. If you fall, if you fall off a fucking jumping puzzle, like twenty times or something, we get that fucking emote. Can we have that? Can we have that square, please? Ooh. See why? Why do my characters? Why did she, Lila, just fucking slingshot all the fucking way over there? It's like it was taking the momentum from the previous jump into account. Which fucking shouldn't be. What the hell was that? I just launched myself like a fucking rocket. 
Let's follow, follow, let's follow the squirrel person, fox person, wherever they are. Hey, how you look like a fox? You're the way, you're already up there already, damn. How many times have you been trying this to get that speed? Oh fuck, oh fuck, that was close, that was too fucking close. That was too fucking close. Too fucking close. Yes! Ah, yes, we're up here! Wait, have I made it up here before? I think I have, yeah. I made it up here before. Where the fuck do I go now? I need somebody to come along and show me. Hello? Can somebody make it up here and show me the, the path? Because... Wait, I can't get up there. So it's definitely not that. Oh, this one? And then you fall all the way down. Yeah, I remember this. Oh, fuck me! Jesus fucking Christ! Stop slingshotting like that, fucking asshole. Oh, is it one of those where we gotta uh, do a little bit of a ramp? No. We gotta make it to that? Have we really got to make it out of that? Are you shitting me? Oh, we got to jump onto that? You are shitting me, aren't you? No, that doesn't like the path. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. We did it! We fucking did it! Okay. Have we got a sprint again? If so, I'm gonna wait. No, uh, we probably could make that. But don't wanna risk it. Oh, thank fuck the physics of mental in this game. See what Lilith needs to do. Wait, we're a crafter, uh, right? We should come up here. We're, you know, become a carpenter and build a fucking ladder. <laughs> Fuck this shit. Fuck this nonsense. Oh, thank fuck. Yes. Where the fuck do we go? Oh my god, we gotta jump on there, jump on there. Oh my god. Oh fuck, we did too narrow, we did too narrow, we fucked. We fucked ourselves, okay. Holy shit. I am fucking sweating like a bastard. At least there was a bit of a safety net where we're still up here. So we can practice this part again.
Well, that did not help. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I think you've got to use Sprint now. I don't see how else you can make it. If we aim for like this here, we've got a better chance of landing. I think that's what we did last time, just by accident. Is there anyone else climbing? Oh yeah. Hey! Could could you fall down in this part, please? And then grab my hand and lift me up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're falling down anyway, grab me! Let me up! Help! Let me up! Let me up! <laughs> God damn it. What the hell was that? Oh, did you fall down? Sounds like someone broke their damn legs. What have you got there? Is that like a poodle? With like a jacket and a hat? I think it might be. Yes! Now don't fuck this up. Have you got that? Don't fuck this up. Fuck this up! Oh, fuck me! Oh. Phew. Yes. Oh yeah, we could go on fucking gas now. Okay, so we want to do a kind of like a medium jump, right? Yes! Yes! In your face jump! In your face! We're doing it! Ah, uh, Wow, these stumps are awful. Are they bombs? Give me a look like a bombs, you bastards! This is bad enough, and you put fucking bombs up here? Bombs down there is bad enough. Bombs up here, knocking us all the way down there. Hey, that's a dick move. Can I make this with a normal jump? Yes! I feel like, ooh! Yeah, I felt, I felt like we could just walk down there. Is it? Is it? Uh, Harry there for a second. How the fuck are we gonna make this? Can we just do a, is this a like a, a running jump? Ah! Oh, it is! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh my god! We got to jump to another fucking stump? No wait. Actually, I'm not sure. Yeah, we're going to jump to that and then go up there. And climb, jump there, jump there. Wait, you jump there and then jump there? Oh, fuck. Yes! You okay, should be able to just walk, yep. We're gonna do a kind of a light jump here. Oh, yes! Okay. Okay. Can we not just jump there? We can. Hello! Help me! Help! Grab my hands! Because if you had to suffer through it, I've got to. Okay, if we just walk down here again, yes? 
Are we just gonna smash our head on that? I fucking hope not. Fuck! How the hell do you do that part then? Fuck off. Before I did it too uh, too light there. Um, so this is kind of like a medium jump, isn't it? Oh, oh fuck! Ah, oh, yes. And just slow gently, yes. Fuck yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah! Fuck yeah, dude, we're doing that. We're fucking doing this shit. Fuck me. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, so you could go that way around. Is this a trick then? Can you not go this way? No, I won't go this way. <laughs> this is a way sleeper. But is it actually possible? Maybe it's not possible. Have they put that in to trick you? Like, that'd be so mean. Shit on it. Um, gotta wait. Wait, what? Oh. Fucking didn't do a running jump, did I? Oh my god. Well, we're back to waiting. At least we get to see what everyone else is doing. Can't look up though. Can't really see anything up there. I can't really see anyone doing anything now. Oh. Still 20 seconds. Oh, 
Oh, dude, I feel for you. That'd be when you use the rage emo that I want the mad to add to the add to the game. Shit on it. I can't make the fucking jump now. Getting psyched out by everybody else. Failing. If they fail, I've got to fail too. We all psyching each other out. To this again. Why did I add in this stupid jump request sprint? I want to get to the top. Am I ever going to be able to? Am I ever going to get good enough? Fucking hell, I don't know. What was I doing right all those other times that I'm doing wrong now? Like, what? why am I fucking this up so much? Feel cursed now. for fuck's sake. Maybe I have to aim more at the wall so I... Maybe I'm losing... Maybe I'm supposed to lose friction. Is that what I was doing last time? Was I lo um, losing speed by hitting the wall? Whereas because they force you to use fucking sprint for this jump, I have to wait fucking ages for, to try again. Which is not fun. Fuck! Look! How the hell did I achieve so much speed? I almost fell off the fucking edge. What the fuck? Whoa, what the fuck was that? So many lilas turn into the fucking flash.
Maybe if I do halfway through. Half. Ah, there we go. So if I'm halfway on the platform, that seems to work. Please don't fucking fly off. Whoa, that kind of helped me. What the fuck? You do all these massively overtuned fucking jumps, and then for some reason you didn't fucking jump for shit that time. Kill me. <laughs> Fuck. Now we're just gonna wait here. I guess I need a little bit of a run up. Just not the full whack, you know. Super hard to fucking to work out. Work this out. Oh, fuck off, dude. The people who fucking do this, like, mad fucking respect to you. And then you got the, the insane people. Like, Pint. Uh, like, sadly, I can't remember the other guy's name. Who, who, like, blitz up here in, like, like, a couple of minutes. How long did it take him to do this? I can't remember. But he did Kagani in like, what was it? Two minutes or something? It's like, that's insane. That's, that's insane. Oh, I think this is like... Is it like 30 seconds or something? They got the up there? Like, what? How? Like, you're not even human. You're not even human at that point. At that point, you know? Like, that's just... How? How can how can you do that? <laughs> ah! In comparison, I feel like a fucking walrus with fucking boxing gloves on, trying to fucking negotiate how how to do this. Like I'm just flapping my boxing glove flippers on the fucking keyboard. To try and get up this fucking thing. Like I feel, like I feel handicapped. In comparison to them, it's like I just can't do it. 
don't know what it is. Reflexes or what? Reaction times? Like, for fuck's sake, you even, you're even fucking now going fucking miles away or you're doing it too fucking narrow. Why won't you just do, why won't you just fucking do it? For fuck's sake, just fucking, just do the fucking job you're doing every single other fucking time. What the fuck is this shit? Have some fucking consistency for fuck's sake. Is it me or the fucking game? I gotta fucking work it out. I feel like I'm standing in the same fucking spot when I'm fucking doing it. But Am I not? Am I just fucking in incapable of determining where I'm supposed to fucking stand if I can pull this off? Like I'm standing in the fucking middle pretty much. I'm pressing the fucking sprint. I'm aiming for this fucking corner. Doesn't make any fucking difference now. Oh, now you'll fucking stand on it. Fuck my life. Fuck! Just fucking get up there, motherfucker. Holy shit. I'm I'm losing my fucking mind doing this shit. Okay, let's fucking try again now. We're in the fucking we're in the fucking middle. We're aiming for this fucking corner. Pressing the sprint button. Fucking walk forward, you jump. Oh now we make it. We're gonna make it every time now, are we? Huh? Are we? Okay. So we're gonna fucking jump to this. Well we fucking make that too. How we're fucking blessed all of a sudden. Oh no we're not! We fucking, we fucking slam our faces into the fucking wall like fucking idiots.